You may be wondering why I brought a tree up today, okay? Well, kiddos, I want you to be a tree, okay? Y'all are going to be a tree, all right? You want to know why? Okay, I forgot I need to stand still here. That's hard for me, okay? <laughs> so why I want you to be a tree is because, you know, a little fact about trees is that they don't stop growing, they do not stop growing. Well, they grow for about 150 years. That's a long time, right? And then they grow, they grow in height for about 150 years. And then they grow in width for as long as they live. So they get the wider the tree, the older it is, okay? And sometimes I kind of feel like that way about myself. The older I get, the wider I get. But that's besides the point. So, but, and you know, the tallest tree is a redwood tree, and they're found in California. And do you know those trees, they can get up to be 379 feet tall. And to help you visualize this, you know the bell tower, you know the, the t tallest part of Polk Street? That's 110 feet. And so these trees, they're like three, over three of those bell towers stacked together. That's really, really tall, right? And so I want you to be like a tree. I don't want you to stop growing. So maybe you do stop growing in your teenage years, about 18. You may stop growing in height. But what I'm talking about is your spiritual growth, growing in God's love. I want you to continue doing that. You can do that throughout your whole life. That's the type of growing that you can do all the time. And so... No matter how old we get, we want to keep growing in him. <clears throat> we want to keep growing in him. With Jesus at our side, we can do that. And so what are some things that, like, trees need to grow? Do you all know, kiddos out there, what are some things that trees need to grow? What do you think, Victoria? They need water? Yes. What else? I heard something else. Danny. They need sunlight. That's right. And we need the sun. Right? God's son, we need out. Okay. Anybody else? Do you know what else? There's what there's another thing that's pretty important. It's a big word. It's a scientific word. They need carbon dioxide. And that's what we breathe out. They need that to grow. Okay. So those they need that to grow, to keep growing. So what do we need to keep growing spiritually? What are some things that we need to grow spiritually? What's something that we can do? What do you think? Whenever you go like this sometimes, what do you do, Danny? You pray. That's right. We pray. We can grow spiritually by praying. We can also grow by having reading devotionals with our parents or with our grown-ups at our house. Or if you're visiting your grandparents, you can do a devotional with them. You can grow that way by reading or studying your Bible. That's another way to grow spiritually. And what about this? What about going to Sunday school and church? Yeah, we can grow spiritually that way too. And then, how about singing songs? When we're singing songs, aren't we singing songs that some of them have like Bible verses in them and we learn about God's love through those songs that we sing in church? And we can memorize some Bible verses. The more we know the Bible, the more we, we know of God's love and we can reflect that love. And so we need to act like those redwood trees, those tallest trees I was telling you about. We need to act like those huge trees, gigantic trees. We need to be like a redwood tree spiritually, okay? You got it? Thumbs up? Okay, all right. So let us pray. Dear Lord Jesus, thank you so much for helping us grow and help us to never stop growing closer to you. Amen.